Smartphones, smart homes, wearables, we are surrounded by an increasing number of smart devices communicating with each other. One day, with technology advancement, these devices will be part of ourselves, implanted inside our body. I know it sounds a bit scary, but before you think of this as a dystopian, matrix-like future, let me explain you why such technology is going to be life-changing for millions of patients worldwide. Debilitating neurological diseases, such as Parkinson's disease and epilepsy, affect an increasing number of people and have a devastating effect on their quality of life. Novel treatments based on neural interfaces have shown to be uh, an alternative solution to drugs and in many cases even more efficient. They monitor the neural activity and, when needed, they stimulate the nervous system with signals. For this reason, they need to be in direct contact with the, with the nervous system, thus implanted inside the human body. Current implantable medical devices are uh, typically limited to one central device, far from the nervous system. It monitors and stimulates the neural activity by means of electrodes implanted into the brain. Uh, this centralized approach, however, limits both the information that we are getting from the brain and the effectiveness of our simulation. What if you could have a distributed network of multimodal implants? They would have computation capabilities and different functions. By doing so, we would cover a wider interfacing area and thus we could interface both with the central uh, nervous system and with the peripheral nervous system. By doing this, we could have a better holistic view of the nervous activity and have also a, an intervention tool from multiple directions. This multimodal approach has challenges and drawbacks, mainly related to power transfer and data communication. My work at the NGNI lab is to face these challenges by designing reliable communication systems wired based between different um, neural implants. Uh, we would empower these communication systems with um, interfacing electronics, similar to the electronics that you could find in your smartphones. This is based on embedded systems, printed circuit boards and integrated circuit technology, our bread and butter. In other words, we're taking concepts implemented into intercommunication technologies and apply them to intra-body communications. As humans, we've always been part of different networks, such as transportation, internet, social networks. My vision is to make our body itself home of a network, a smart network made of distributed neural interfaces to treat our diseases.